Hey, welcome to day 24 of our uh, devotional journey together. My name is Lance. Oh, I am Josh, Lance's brother-in-law. He is my brother-in-law, and he's also the genius behind so much of the video content that we have on the weekends at church. Like most of it, most of anything we see media-wise probably goes through, at least gets your approval, yep. right? Yep, yeah, I, I'm either making it or I'm, I'm helping the people who are making it, yeah, usually. Super cool. But I don't know that I would use the, the word genius. So, yeah, that was an X. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Just kidding. Anyhow, okay, so go day ahead and grab day 24. Go ahead and grab your journey guys together, and uh, we're going to get... Glad to be here, Lance. Rolling. Thanks, for, thanks for inviting me. Yes. Yes. Nice. I know. He's mm, he's deep. You're going to see. All right? And wide. <laughs> deep. And wide. Come on, somebody. <laughs> um, all right, Nehemiah chapter 4, verse 13 awesome. is where we're at today, and it says... So in the lowest parts of the space behind the walls, in the open places, I station the people by their clans with their swords, their spears, and their bows. Just one verse, mm-hmm. Nehemiah chapter 4. What what, um, man, what really that's sticks a, out to that's you? It's kind of verse I want to go, mm, to. You know what I mean? Just, mm. mm. Yeah. Glory. You know what, though? The first, the first thing that sticks out to me is when he's talking about, like, placing the people with their, um, with their swords, their spears, and their bows. So the first thought that comes to my mind is, like, so why they got to have swords, spears, and bows? And I'm pretty sure we mm-hmm. talked about later on that there were people that weren't really digging the fact that uh, Nehemiah wanted to rebuild this wall with his people. So they're, like, right off the onset, they know they're going to be facing some opposition. Mm-hmm. So they're gearing up. They're, they're not just going to, like, they're not jumping in there with, like, with, with just hopes and dreams. They're taking some practical steps Ooh. towards, like, achieving this goal and making sure that it's achievable. Yeah, and so that's a lot like Pastor Rick talked this week. And what did he mm-hmm. say? What was that thing He's, about like opposition? He said, "There's no other. Uh, there's no victory in heaven that goes unchallenged." That's by right. Heaven. That's yeah. huge. It's that's true. really huge. Yeah, yeah. You know, I like this whole concept. I think it really sticks out to me. Is you know, it says, "I stationed the people, not just the fighters, not just the warriors, yeah. but he stationed the people." Like that included everybody. Mm-hmm. Everybody made a difference when it came. This was. They station them with all these weapons because, uh, I mean, it sounds like it's kind of life and death scenario. Yeah. And everybody had a part in that. Yeah. And I think, like, for myself, like, it's so easy to forget. We've been saying over and over throughout this whole journey, like, you matter and you have a part with this. Mm-hmm. And that, But it's really true. Yeah. It's not just something we try to say to make anybody feel good. Like, it's true. God made us all with such specific purpose and specific abilities to make such a kingdom difference. Like, yeah. And it, and it doesn't matter, like... And there's no, there's no like, uh, like you have to have these qualities to make an impact or to play a role or to be a part of the journey. And I think we run into that when we kind of start this whole comparison game. Mm-hmm. You know, like don't compare yourself, what you have or don't have, to other people. Like it's just yeah. not worth it. Like that's no. not like, man, our view can be so skewed on like our ability to make a difference yeah. based on comparison. Like I used to do that all the time. Like not even kidding. Like I thought like to be in the church to be a part of the church. Like, I had to fit a certain box. You know, it's like, if I want to either got to be creative and good at computers and good with people and good at teaching and or you had this personality and this tone, and it's like, mm-hmm. I love the church, but, like, I don't think I fit. You yeah. know what I mean? Like, yeah. I was I was an auctioneer before I was doing this. Dude, you're a great auctioneer, man. So I've heard. <laughs> Anyhow, I almost sold for you right there. Oh, but, um, so man. close. Anyhow. But my whole thing was, is it wasn't until somebody, like, spoke some life out in me. It's like, you can make a difference. Yeah. And, like, you can be part of the church. And, like, let's give it a go. And it's like, God uses what he's already placed there. Truth. You know? Yeah. You matter. Yeah. And I can tell you right now that, like, if, if, if anybody's listening to this or watching this, anybody, and you're, you're feeling the same way. Like, you're like, I have no idea how I could see myself ever, ever, like, contributing to the church at any level. Um, I can tell you right now, like, there's... I mean, first of all, like there's the financial, there's the obvious financial stuff that we've been talking about Mm -hmm. with 10,000 reasons. But beyond that, like we have so many opportunities for people to get plugged in and start serving. We got like, like all the different things that are going on the weekends. There's so many different volunteer teams. You got your, your kids ministry and your youth ministry and creative service team and, and worship and like, and it's not about just having bodies in place either. No, you know, we could sound like, oh yeah, come and get involved here. It's like, no, it's not about the bodies. It's the matter that like, like it matters. Yep. Like it matters. Our contribution to like what God's doing for the church, like has kingdom influence. And and it's like, why not be a part of that? Like there's room in the body of Christ. Like for you, like, like you were created with like purpose 
and influence. Yeah. And um, what what you have to contribute really matters. Yeah, it really does. And makes a difference. Yep. Yep. I agree. Oh man. Yes. Right. There we go. Hey. Now we're now we're cooking with peanut this, oil. This isn't our first take. Yeah, so <laughs> I said some things in the last one. That, <laughs> yeah, we're like, apparently apparently you can't post on yeah, the internet. Yeah, apparently we couldn't find the bleep button. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> there was nothing needed. Uh, I don't know why we thought it was a good idea to have both of us on the camera at the same time. <laughs> so anyhow, um, we think you are awesome. Yeah, definitely. Everybody everybody has has something to give. That's right. And it may not it may totally. not look the same as what the person standing next to you can give. But that doesn't change the value. That's right. And, uh, and that's what Pastor Rick's talking about. Like, it's not about equal giving. It's about equal sacrifice. Gosh, I told you. I'm just repeating what my dad said. On <laughs> <laughs> so we'll see deep. Have a fantastic day. And uh, hopefully we'll see you around. Bye. Bye.